Hi guys, Spink here. This is episode 52 of Let's Learn Aegean Civil War II. Um, things look a little different. Um, I did a, a tutorial on modding and uh, walked through how you uh, install mods, where you find them, how you create your own. And so I thought, let's, uh, let's include some of those now in, uh, in the playthrough. So this is the, uh, the main menu background mod that we actually um, built during that tutorial. So we'll, we'll use that. I've also included um, Fred Zeppelin's um, ledger mod here. So I really like these little red tabs at the bottom. I think they're very nicely done. And so we'll be using be using this for a while, and I may uh, swap different mods in and out to uh, show off some of the work of some of the uh, modders of this game. Um, late September 1862, we are we got all our orders done, and we were going to build a bunch of troops. That's my recollection. So let's see what we have currently in the pipeline. We have lots of artillery coming in. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 infantry coming in in the west. So that's not looking too bad out there. Um, I wanted to have six divisions in each of these armies. There's one division, two, three, four. So I want to build two more divisions for here. And we have two under Grant and one under Pope, so I want another three divisions over there. So, one, two, three, four. So I need a total of five divisions over here, and we have, let's say, say five brigades per division, give or take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have two of our divisions coming in already. Um, so let's build some more. Going to the infantry here in the northwest. Maybe the old northwest. I don't know if I've hit these guys up very hard. Indiana. How many Indiana troops have we built? Uh, not a great deal. So let's build this one right here. Let's go, whoops, down here uh, right above Louisville here. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. In fact, let's just, let's just finish all of those off right there. Um, so that's a good chunk coming in over here. Let's look at some, some possibly coming in more in the Illinois like Wisconsin. Let's go back up to Wisconsin, build a few more. We're already building quite a few up here. Let's uh, finish off these guys there. Um, we've still got lots of manpower left. Let's go to Iowa. Iowa, Iowa. Dubuque here. Um, <laughs> Maybe a little lower. Davenport here. It's connected by railroads. One, two, three, four, five. And back in the east, we'll go mid Atlantic if we pretty much. I guess we got plenty of plenty of stuff left for that. Build some of these Pennsylvania brigades up here in Lancaster. Two, three, four, five, six, and let's say some. Oh, what are we short on? Money, 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 money. build some of these Maryland guys one that's all we can do well I think that's uh, given us a good chunk of, a good chunk of stuff here um, hmm, hmm, hmm. very 
Yes. Let's knock up our river transports. One more, one more uh, notch here. Whoops, requisitions, river transports. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to increase the river pool. Here we go. Bing. That's nice. Exchange prisoners, no. What else we have here? We can do the draft for four morale and 25 victory points. We'll see. Um, we need some money again. So we're going to have to wait for that to come around. Interior. What can we do on the interior? Oops. Uh, government. We don't need to do anything to move the foreign uh, foreign entry because it look it's looking pretty good right now. Um, would it be nice if this map here had the uh, had this the state outlines on them instead of just being a terrain map, so you can actually you know have a good idea of what's what state is what and get yourself uh, um, help help get yourself uh, situated there. Back at the um, victory screen here or the objective screen and score we see um, we're still trailing in victory point totals but we're closing the gap here as far as the the gaining and lossing here they're gaining 54 a turn and I think that might have been up to 60 or more at one point and, and we're up to 49 here so we're starting to close the gap there they've lost uh, 76,000 troops and uh, we've lost um, oh we've lost slightly less now and we've taken 36,100 prisoners and they have probably taken about the same as as us um, we need to do some regional regional thingies uh, we had a something up here in New York somewhere where was it did that actually go away but we had something up here in New York that that uh, they were doing a demonstration or something up there Let's go back to the messages was it this one it says we were unsuccessful in North Franklin New York North Franklin New York is right here but I don't see um, I don't see their their demonstrations there anymore so maybe Maybe theirs fa failed as well. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, some of these things we can do with the Indians here. Um, I don't think we actually have anywhere legal to do them just yet. Let's see. Oh, we can do a retaliation up here. An Indian, an enemy Indian unit. Send soldiers retaliating against the hostile native Indians in their village. An enemy Indian unit might be defeated. It has to be an Indian village with a combat unit adjacent. Costs nothing. Well, let's give it a shot and see what it does. Is there anything else we can do? We can subvert them um, by paying them to join our side. Um, I don't really want to do that. We can ask them to make more warriors while they're already at war with us. That's probably less than optimal. We, oops, defensive work. Indian Reservation. We can also do a retaliation here. There's no Indian village here, though. Oh, there is. No, there's. Yeah, Fort Gibson, Indian Village. Oh, yes, so. I think we're at war with the entire uh, Indian faction here. I don't think we can be at war with individual tribes. So let's do that. We'll see what it does. See if it does anything that. Let's see. There we are. There's something we can do out here as well. Retaliation up here. Now these are enemy, right? At war. At war. Okay, so let's do a retaliation here. Oh, and that's all our retaliations, it looks like. Anything else we can do? Reserve. Removes an Indian village costs us fifty thousand dollars. Well, we have fifty thousand dollars, or we don't have fifty thousand dollars, so I would think we wouldn't be able to put it on here. Uh, 
Okay, well, we'll call that good. Maybe we want to throw spies on anybody. Um, where was that force under Bragg here? That might be worth uh, seeing if we can get a little more information on. We can do a deep recon into Nashville, but I don't think that necessarily gains us anything. We're going to be there next turn anyway. Over here. We can do the deep recon again on this region, which would reduce their hide value, but there, I think we've got a good, a good idea of what's going on there. So I think we'll call this good. Um, what are we looking at? It's only been 11 minutes, so we can uh, execute the turn here and see what happens. So you get it all nice and focused in on this. Save just for safety. And we will hit it. You can see that, uh, again, none of my units have been activated. The, the, dark, the darker envelope there means they have not activated. Oh, um, Franklin activated. He's got the lighter color envelope. That means he activated. Um, Sumner, we don't know whether he did or not, just based on this, because he was combined under McDowell's stack there. We can see once he pops uh, pops out separate. I think I sent him all the way to Richmond this turn, didn't I? That might have been a bit premature, going into there blind like that. CSA detachment has arrived in Inglewood Bend. I think they're moving this guy by by oh oh a little cavalry raid looks like um, the 15th Virginia Cavalry. They didn't take any damage. We didn't take any damage. We just did a little bit of uh, um, cohesion hits to each other. Um, I'm glad we uh, I'm glad we held them off. We don't really. I need to get some uh, some more. Um, oh, what's going on here? Smith's Corps has arrived in Anderson's detachment in Culpeper. Oh, somebody was doing some guns going on there. Oh, what's this one? Mound City. Um, the third. Oh, these are the guys that we put on the uh, on the sortie. Just just to see what that would do. That's what those were. Just our two militia brigades here, our militia regiments, uh, lashing out at the 3rd Texas. No damage was inflicted by either side, but uh, we each took a little bit of uh, cohesion hit there. And he looks like he went back there. Corinth Garrison has arrived here. Holmes Corps. There's the Alabama. Smith's Corps is alright, so he's come back across the river. So we're just like going to be bouncing back and forth across the river here. That should be fun. All I'm doing is reacting to things. Oh, and he snuck back over here. Alabama's coming around. Holmes has arrived. Oh, Home Guards. Santee Sioux have arrived in Marshall, South Dakota, and they took another one of those forts, it looked like. I saw it flash real quick. Pemberton has arrived here. Something's happening. Something's happening. Probably not good. It looks like Ewell. Yeah, Ewell's detachment. Longstreet's core is here. Looks like we're going to take Nashville. Looking pretty good for that. Oh, forgot to turn this off. This is the... Uh, I might as well show it. This is the... Uh, the battle planner thing that lets you pick your pick your deployment. Um, I'm just going to let the AI choose it because I don't think as as Lincoln, I don't think I should be telling Grant how to fight his battle. Although I think we're going to get our butts kicked pretty handily here. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, our cohesion is way way low. Yeah, Grant's getting his ass kicked. 
Crossing the river, his cohesion was low, and he ran into this force that moved north. Fire! And we lost our entire force. Oh, bother. Fighting on a beach. Oh, fighting on a beach. Oh, so it was actually, since we came in into an enemy-occupied region via, rail, via the... Uh, via the uh, ship movement, the, the river movement, it treated it as an invasion, and you have to win or basically die. You have nowhere to, to uh, retreat to. So that was a colossal mistake on my part there. Holy cow. Two divisions, two complete divisions wiped out. Um, who knows how many leaders we lost out of that. Ah, yeah, okay. And hey, Hey, at least Porter sank a militia unit that was trying to sneak through there. So, hey, we got... That evens out, I guess. Or not. Doggone it. So, if you're using the riverine transport, uh, make sure you come, come off the uh, river into an area that you control so that you don't have that happen, because it sucks. So... Another lesson learned in our Let's Learn series. Oh boy, we lost 12 national morale. Holy cow. And we did not take Nashville, but we got a bunch of uh, troops here. We're in pretty good shape, I think, here. Bragg's army's coming up. Um, yeah, we'll combine these guys up and uh, besiege Nashville. We have a core here, and we have an army here. So they're definitely closing in on us, and they're going to probably want to try to break that siege. Oh, God, I hope I didn't completely lose Grant. I don't see Grant at all. He might have been killed. Or I hope he wasn't killed, but uh, I, 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 it's going to be horrible. Let's let's look at the uh, let's look at the messages and get it over with. The Chasseur de Afrique, I think, black troops in an occupied southern city. What is this? The first all-black regiment of the United States history was formed from free Negroes in Union-controlled New Orleans, which we don't control. While their technical name is the first regiment. Louisiana Native Guard. They call themselves Chasseurs d'Afrique, the Hunters of Africa. South is outraged at the use of black soldiers. Yeah. Tough. Uh, we get 100 conscript companies. That's nice. Uh, because of the huge stock, they sold some off. We requisitioned. Um, Brigadier General Mitchell is awaiting a new command, and McPherson and Warren. Uh, our entrenchments maximum level is now up to six. The Standards Brigade has been formed. That's going to be another one of those uh, um, elite units. Besieging Mound City. Yeah, and then we we drove them off because we're awesome. Our militia is. We failed to retreat in Spotsylvania. Oh, that was the unit trying to sneak through there, and we cut him off and, and whacked him. Not much. Arnold has been sunk after engaging the enemy in region Cape Gerardo, Arnold has been sunk. Davis has been sunk. Has been sunk. Summon has been sunk. What are these? Are these ours or were they theirs? I'm not sure what those were. Um, foot has bombarded. Pack train number two. Good job, pack train number two. Ohio has been sunk after engaging the enemy. Cumberland has been sunk. Tennessee has been sunk. Holy shit, what did we do? Did, did we just lose a bunch of stuff here? I don't see them. Sounds like our kind of ships. Oh, the transports. That's what they were. These transports got wiped out. Oh, bother. Um... Western Volunteers in Centerville, Kansas. 
Yeah. Retreating from a battle. Lion was forced to stop here. Oh, so he made it down here, but he didn't engage in, in combat because his cohesion was low. So um, we have two. We have an enemy. Oh, I guess he's actually... We have a, we're besieging Fort Smith, and then I think Hardy's force is actually not in the, the region itself. So we'll bring this division in to help out there. Um, they invaded, or they retreated before, ret they succeeded in retreating before battle in Smith, Arizona, Arizona, Arkansas. Grant stopped his offensive. Oh my god. McLaren is recovering from injuries. So McLaren, McLaren was injured. Crittenton was injured. Butterfield was injured. Grant was injured. <coughs> and we lost 12 national morale. Ouch. So every time I go on the offensive, I just get humiliated. So, um,. They should probably, uh, well, this is what we're doing. We're learning how to play the game, aren't we? Um, can be reverted to a defensive stance, but we are besieging um, El Paso now. We're besieging Fort Thorn here as well. Um, Milroy reverted to a defensive stance. Just chasing this guy around. I wonder what he's actually got here. He cannot seem to get a... Oh, do we get there in 10 days? Hmm. Can't seem to get a, a, a grip on that guy. I think we need to be using more cavalry at him, perhaps. Um, wear and tear. Oh, my God. That's just... Uh, that's the second time I've lost a, just a gigantic unit like that. Oh, boy. Um, we got some... Units have been trained. We disbanded that flatboat squadron that we had captured. A lot of training of units has happened. Lots of stuff new this turn. And we captured Edenton down here. Their force went, presumably this is them here. Yeah, the Norfolk garrison. They're heading north. Um, so we'll follow up with uh, with this and we'll, we'll bring this up to Suffolk. And that will shield Norfolk as well as moving us uh, farther up. We captured Fort Coffee um, right here. Eight supply and 11 ammunition. The Indians captured Fort Wadworth, Wadsworth in Marshall, South Dakota. And in Rutherford, Tennessee, we've been reduced to zero. That would be here. Yeah, as this force moved in. Reverse to zero control there. Uh, the attempt to form the decision spies was unsuccessful. An attempt to perform the decision retaliation was unsuccessful. United States of America soldiers were sent against hostile natives in Gibson Indian Territory. Let's see if that worked. The Indian village is still there. And also in Ait Aitken, Minnesota. We apparently went after that. We'll see what happens, if anything. Telegraph line still being built. Decision. Developed territory is not valid. Your development level is not within the limits of decision. I think what I had done is put developed territory in and also like clear roads or something. And the uh, developed territory had to be at, at, a pers at a particular level and we changed it through a different decision and so that became invalid, I'm guessing. Uh, Merchant ships have transported plenty of supplies, and we brought in money and more supplies. Grant has been blamed for having suffered a defeat. New Seniority 9. Crittenton has been blamed. McLaren has been blamed. So not only did we get Grant's force destroyed and Grant wounded, we made it to where he's less likely to get promoted. So all in all, just an awesome performance by me this turn. Oh... Um, well, I'm rather demoralized, so I think I'll probably call this, this episode to an end. It's a little short yet, but, but yeah, God, so I had two, what, two divisions were destroyed there?
two divisions completely destroyed. Against Pemberton. Wiped out. Oh my god, they captured 13,000 of our troops. Yeah. 40 of our elements routed. Oh. So basically, what happened here is I had sent um, Grant's force to this region via river movement. And before I got there, um, Pemberton's force got here. So this became, instead of me moving into friendly territory, this became me um, doing essentially a, an amphibious landing on a, on a, into a hostile region from, from the shore and, or from the uh, rivers there, and we were just wiped out. So, so that's a problem. So we're going to have to rebuild that army. Um, I wonder where Grant ended up. McCracken, I thought it said. Where that's at, I don't recall. Wiped out. Oh well. Hopefully, hopefully the Nashville um, operation is gonna is gonna work out. But uh, hmm, yeah, God got it. That was just just sheer incompetence too. Oh, let's look over here. We do have that's uh, Jubal Early. Yep, yeah. we are besieging um, Richmond now with Sumner's Corps. What do we have inside here? We do have trapped in there the Army of the Potomac. Well, not necessarily trapped. It's there. Out here we have the Army of the Shenandoah headquarters, not much power actually there. We have B's force, not a great deal of power. Um, we still have Grant's or uh, Jackson's Corps here, and also a Huger, Huger's detachment, or, or UG, as it's pronounced, I believe. Um, yeah, that's not too shabby. If we can actually have Richmond besieged here, we've got to get more force down here now. We've got to reinforce him very quickly. Governor Warren shows up. Oh, he's a fine-looking individual. He has the signal um, ability, so he gets additional command point if he's uh, commanding a stack. And he also has a defensive engineer. That's kind of handy. Franklin's Corps is... The strongest in the army at the moment. We've got four divisions. We'll get everybody all squared away there, and we've got to get some more force to Richmond. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, anyway, I was going to call this episode to a close, and I'm going to do some chin scratching and, and thinking and figuring and see what what's to be done. Um, hmm, 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 but we're besieging Richmond, so, yeah, so I don't think Grant is going to be president, we're going to end up with uh, President Banks or President McClellan here uh, in another few years, more likely. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to call this episode to a close, uh, see you next time, thanks for watching.